Golf power by design. It doesn't mean it's complicated, it means we're looking outside of typical paradigm blindness in the golf industry to give you more power and generate you know, effortless power. That's what we're looking for. I'm Alex Forte, this is Andy Gorman, and we're showing you, the, you know, some insights of the stroke to swing system. And it's about a natural principles that dial in everyday life to what you're very good at, because you're pretty good at being a human, and they can actually apply to the golf swing. It absolutely can, and you know, when I started looking outside of the golfing arena for a power source, um, it, you know, it was very apparent to me that the first people you need to go and look at were guys who could throw the ball a long way. And it wasn't, or, or throw something a long way. I looked at javelin, and I looked at shot put, yeah. and I watched, you know, even down to hammer, you know, I watched uh, athletes creating what seemed to be ridiculous amounts of power very effortlessly. Um, then I tried to throw a discus and a javelin and realized that, of course, dot the cap to the athlete because it's not effortless and it's not really easy. And if we're all doing it, we'd all have gold medals. Um, but actually, baseball pitchers were the one area where it was easy to study uh, basic principal movements around some of the fastest moving athletes on the planet and you know the, the position that we we talk about baseball in golf and we often get caught up thinking simply uh, the guy with the bat mm -hmm. and it's nothing about the guy with the bat at all I'm not saying that you can't and, and I'll just highlight one of the differences is the reason why we can relate to the pitcher is because it's from a static position and it's a pretty similar position yeah. here to start movement mm -hmm. and it's going in a linear manner, it's going this way, it's going sideways. Right? So the golf swing goes sideways. So Alex is going to demonstrate how we would wind up if we were going to throw. Now think about it very simply, the pitcher is on the mound and he's going to be throwing down someone. Okay? So that's where the golf swing relationship is. So I'm picturing my target okay. and I'm just going to throw this you know, as hard as I can, I'm going to wind up. Okay, so we've got a pretty good movement going on there. Notice that Alex didn't move so far out of the camera shot. He, you know, he didn't lose his spinal integrity. He kept a nice straight line. Stayed within balance, and, here, and then it released. And he would increase even more power if he wound his shoulders up even more. So next one, Alex, a little bit more wind in the shoulders. There we go. Back's facing the target and he's able to then unwind his body at a much greater speed. If he unwinds his body, he'll end up swinging his arms and throwing the ball. In the golf swing, he unwinds his body, he swings his arms, and he's not throwing the ball, but he's swinging the club to launch the golf ball an extra distance down the top. I can tell you one thing, guys. I do not throw a golf ball or any ball or any object. Okay, now I need to turn my shoulders, I need to hinge the wrist, hinge the wrist. Oh. I need to feel this kind of laid off position at the top of the swing, I need to bump my hips, then I need to release. I don't think I'd be able to throw a ball very well like that. You wouldn't I, throw I very far yeah. and accuracy would be down. So, you know, we do things quite simply, you know, and we, we're going to, we're going to really drive home this simply thing. We're going to understand that this is something we do without thinking, mm -hmm. non-conscious. If we can clear the brain and get clear in our thoughts to just do what we're trying to do, which is swing the club to hit the ball. I would urge you to you know, try and get out and throw some. Even if you're not the most athletic person, just feel, you know, let your body flow and release. And you can try it underarm as well, almost like you're skimming stones. So what would you do to throw something underhand to generate power. You won't be here resisting, again, hinging, hinging, turning. You just let the body flow. So then you can release that way. So, give it a try. You know, really understand that we wind ourselves up onto our trailing leg. You know, notice that the front wants to come off the ground to encourage even greater hip rotation. Yeah. And then the drive forward 
is coming from above down. It's all wound up here and it's driving forward. Give that a little practice. You haven't even got to have a ball. Remember, this isn't about doing stuff that's got to produce a result. It's about creating a feeling and opening up the mind to create more power from a slightly different source than we would normally. So there you go. Enjoy. It will give you more effortless power and just a bit more freedom in your golf swing. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. You.